Hello, this is Pat Harold from the Chromex Tech Support Department with another installment of our Tips and Tricks for ColorThink. Tips and Tricks in 5 Minutes or Less. This one I call, What Does Bad Look Like? Users of ColorThink Pro would be familiar with a scene like this. An average looking printer profile. It has the familiar blue curve into magenta that's common in lab space. The gamma drops down pretty close to zero. This, so this is likely made from a glossy material. A good habit you should get into is always bringing your measurement data in here to view along with the profile gamut. You should expect to see your measurements line up pretty well with the gamut of the printer. Here's the measurement itself. Now, how do you know when something is wrong? You don't know what to look out for if you've never seen a problem before. So I thought I'd show you some problem profiles that have come our way. Here's a problem child. Looks all right from behind, but what's going on around here? Looks like a couple of big sinkholes have collapsed on this guy. I can get a finer resolution with 5% steps and change to wireframe, uncheck the tone checkbox, and you can sort of see right through. It looks like there are three points in there being drawn down inside the gamut. There's probably something corrupt about the measurement file or the reference file with this one. If this were me, I would go back and build a new profile. Notice that the 2D gamut projection looks okay. And this has a normal shape as far as the outline, but you have to look at the rest of the gamut to make a good judgment of this profile. Now I'm bringing in a measurement file and a profile. This looks much better behaved. The measurement patches are matching the gamut pretty well. There is this little notch down here. I'm going to make it lighter, change to wireframe, zoom in a bit. Tell you what, I'll lighten the background and I'll make the gamut darker. Yes, there's this groove that runs along the bottom of the blue color space. I don't know what's going on there, but it's not normal. Maybe there is a streak along one row of the target, causing a lot of blue shadow patches to measure lighter. Not sure, but since there aren't any measurement patches in this channel here, I'd say that the profiling engine was doing a faithful job of building a profile around what the measurement data was doing. Yeah, there's a good view of the groove. I would take a look at the target and remeasure and reprofile. Next up is a profile of slightly different shape. Not all printers and papers are going to give you big, beautiful gamuts. This one apparently does not produce very many shadow colors. Bring in the measurement data. Well, I'll be. There's only a single measurement point defining the black. Everything between the black point and the rest of the gamut has no points representing it. The profile has to interpret all this space without any measurement points to help it. So, now I can tell that this system is not very linear, or else the target I'm using has no shadow points. I can double click on the measurement set, and it'll open up into the worksheet. This target has a lot of near neutral patches, but look at how they're printing. Everything is pretty gray, except for the 100% black patch, which is nice and dark. This is definitely a system that is not printing in a linear way. If this were a RIP, I would look at relinearizing the RIP. But since this is an RGB profile, I would look at using a different media setting in the driver that can give me more evenly spaced printing throughout the gamut, and especially in these black shadow areas. Man, are my five minutes up already? Oh, you gotta see this one. Here we have a perfectly normal, mild-mannered profile on its way to the office one day. Ooh, ouch, but what's this? Somebody took a bite out of him. Question is, what happened to cause this emptiness in the middle and the whole other side of the profile? Let's bring in the measurement data to see if it matches the profile. Yes, it's mostly the same shape, except for a little bit here. So the profiling engine is doing the best it can with the measurement data it's been given. To find the problem, we'd want to look earlier in the process. Open up the measurement file in the worksheet, and we see a lot of red. Hmm, give up yet? The printer that produced this target had run out of light cyan ink. Now you can look at the target and see some cyan here, 
but these are probably made with the regular cyan cartridge. The patches that would be printed with light cyan are all turning red by comparison because there's no cyan there to balance it. And now this 3D gamut makes sense. No light cyan here. But if you were working with a scrambled target, you might not notice that missing cyan. You might have a hard time figuring out why your profile was so bad unless you were able to bring it into ColorThink. Well, that's all for today. Please feel free to contact Chromix with your ideas for what you do with ColorThink so we can expand our tips and tricks. And maybe your idea will be on the next Tips and, and Tricks, and tricks with, with ColorThink. ColorThink.